Well, hello. My name's John Grimsmo, and this is Knife Making Tuesday, week 49. This week, I've got kind of a special project lined up. Um, it's something that's been in the works for about four months. I'm just finally now getting around to doing it. Um, about four months ago, a customer ordered two Norsemen, one for him, one for his son, and they're getting custom engraved. Now, you may not know this, but I am an Eagle Scout. Um, Eric and I grew up in Washington State, and we were both in Boy Scouts, and I achieved my Eagle Scout, which is the highest honor you can get. And it's, it's quite an accomplishment. So the customer who purchased these um, wants them custom engraved with an Eagle Scout logo and his son's name and 2012, the date that he achieved his Eagle. So from one Eagle Scout to another, this is a really cool project. I'm happy to be able to, to provide this service like now at this point in my life. It's been uh, about 11 years since I got my Eagle Scout. And I got some custom engraved stuff, not nearly this cool, but when I, when I got my eagle, so uh, it's nice that I can sort of pay it forward and, uh, you know, keep the tradition alive. So what we're doing, I've got two Norsemen. This one's already taken apart. Put that one aside. I figure I've got this area right here ripe for engraving. There's lots of flat area right there. Um, so I'm going to put an Eagle Scout crest right there and the guy's name here and here. So last night I stayed up late and uh, I was on my computer sort of designing the engraving, figuring out what size tool to use, what, where to engrave it, how to engrave it. Um, and instead of just doing an outline, I decided to do a, a pocketing routine. So it's going to take out uh, a, a patch of material where the logo is. Uh, here's a picture of the logo just to give you an idea. Boom. And I'm going to anodize it several different colors because the logo is blue, red, and you know white or silver outlining some of the things. So, so I'm going to do three different color engravings. Uh, I'm going to start with the blue because that's a high, high voltage for titanium anodizing. And then you can't do red, so I'm going to do a different color bronze than this just so it contrasts a little bit and then finish it off with a silver engraving that doesn't get anodized. Now, in hindsight, um, this knife is already fully complete. It's got color on it. It's already buffed and polished and everything sharp. Um, so I need to figure out a way to do it so that I don't screw up the color uh, that's already on here. And I've tried things like nail polish in the past, but nail polish kind of chips. Um, I've got a clip of that. Boom! And so nail polish wasn't really good, and it was really hard to get off cleanly. Um, so I've tried some other things. I think Sharpie might work, but what I'm really excited to try is Dicam. Dicam, whatever you call it. Um, it's a, a layout die, basically. So machinists use it all the time. You paint it on your metal, and you can scribe. You can scratch a straight line or something to give you a visual um, impact, like line or whatever. And I've never used the stuff. I've had this for six months or something. Kind of looking forward to using it. Um, just for fun, I got an old Norseman handle here that's kind of garbage. So I painted it on. Um, this one's kind of cool. It's got a felt tip applicator. And it's pretty thin. So it dripped quite a lot. But check this out. It dries really, really thin. Like I can't even feel, um, you know, where it's on and off right there. Uh, whereas nail polish dries fairly thick, so I have high hopes for this working extremely well. Um, why am I using die cam? Because I want to protect the color, the bronze color of the handle right now, and then when I scry when I engrave my thingy, um, the engraving will be silver, fresh titanium. I can anodize just that section, and then go in again and engrave another section, and then anodize just that section again. So it's uh, it's going to be really cool. Um, so anyway, I just sort of scratched my name in there with a scrap piece of carb carbide. And uh, just for fun, I'm going to anodize it and try to strip this off. Apparently acetone gets it off really good, brake cleaner really good, uh, lacquer thinner, pretty much anything. So as long as it can come off cleanly without any crap and residue and stuff, then we're doing good. So I'm going to test that, but then uh, we'll get right to engraving. Okay, now I've got my die cam laid on there. Uh, I found it's good to lay it on really, really thick. So I think the aerosol version where you can spray it on would work even better for this application, but with the squeegee bottle, I just kind of squeezed it until it kind of dripped out. 
out of the sponge area and then uh, laid it on there really thick and wipe it off with acetone first because it needs to be absolutely clean so it sticks well. So since this is going to be a several color anodizing operation, I'm going to do everything that's blue first, including the name engraving and the eagle. So this is uh, the little crest of the, of the shield right there, and now I'm going to do an eagle around it. Well, if I do say so myself, that looks pretty fantastic. I got a really good level of detail on the eagle there, and I'm really, really happy about that. So next up, I'm going to take an eyedropper with a little bit of my uh, weak sulfuric acid mix and just cover just the areas that I want to anodize. And then I've got my negative electrode here. Once I touch that just to the water, do not touch the part, um, then it'll change color. So I'm going to make this blue, so I'm going for 28 volts DC. B-E-A beautiful. That was fantastic. Ooh, good one. <clears throat> That's just draining the voltage. All right. All right, I got it back on the mill now to do some red lines. Uh, once again, I can't anodize red, so I'm just going to do a different color bronze than what the handle is normally. But this will be the red stripes of the flag, the shield, as well as a big outline around the outside. Lastly, I'm going to drill and mill some silver lines. Wow, this thing looks pretty incredible so far. Now we just gotta get the blue die cam off and then see what it looks like. Happens pretty quick. So these Norseman knives are number 10 and 11, which means they were from the first batch that I made. I've made about 40 so far. So being such an early batch knife, it makes it even more special. 
um, because this is kind of what started it for me this first batch of Norsemen and certainly my childhood in Boy Scouts enhanced my love of knives and my ability to use them on a daily basis so this is really special to me I like that I'm actually quite tempted to take my knife this is number one and put that same eagle right there because I am an Eagle Scout. Oh, and I forgot to mention the son. This is the son's knife, and his father, who bought them, um, is actually an Eagle Scout as well. So, makes sense. But yeah, I'm pretty tempted to put the logo right there too because, for one, it's an awesome, amazing logo, and it kind of shows off my skill. And if I could keep that in my pocket, that'd be cool. But also because I'm an Eagle Scout, and I think that would just look awesome on this knife. So I might just go do that. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, uh, that was a lot of fun.